Welcome back. It is 644 on a Thursday and the CDC is warning of a new strain of a highly infectious stomach bug that's resistant to medication doctors would normally prescribe. Here's Abby Luigo with the fast facts. This is the last thing we need, Abby. Right, Allison, you know, we're talking about Shigella, but hearing about a new highly infectious anything can be scary, right? So we turn to the CDC and pediatrician Dr. Madeline Gagnon to verify what you really need to know to stay safe. First of all, what is Shigella? It is a bacteria that is spread very easily through fecal matter, even just tiny traces of it that causes shigellosis. Now this disease can be mild or severe. Symptoms include diarrhea that can last several days, fever, stomach pain, and an incessant feeling like you need to go even when you don't. Okay, why are we talking about this this morning? Because the CDC just issued a new report warning that the version of Shigella spreading right now is more drug resistant. The infections that are rising are of a variant of Shigella that is harder to treat. Are about 450,000 Shigella infections in Americans each year, but CDC data shows the percentage of cases from these drug resistant strains went from 0% in 2015 to 5% in 2022. Now this can impact anyone at any age and the CDC says historically Shigellosis infections have been associated with young kids. However, more recently, the increase in antibiotic resistant infections is observed in adults, including men who have sex with men, people experiencing homelessness, people living with HIV and international travelers. Right now, the CDC doesn't really have a recommended alternative for antibiotics they would normally rely on. The good news, though, is that the infection often goes away on its own, but the best way to stay healthy is to avoid getting it in the first place. Here are some ways to do that. Practicing safe sex and refraining from intimacy or going to work or school or preparing food when you're experiencing any symptoms. And guys, it's always, always, always a good idea to very thoroughly wash your hands, especially before eating or touching your face. Allison, Larry. That was oh, a lot, boy. Abby. Yeah, that was a lot. Okay, good to know though. Wash yeah. your hands. Mm -hmm. um, we apologize for anyone eating breakfast, but the information is yeah. always rock solid. <laughs> Hopefully, right. it's a reminder to go wash your hands now. There it is. Mm -hmm. yeah, Abby, thank Let you. Me find, let me go ahead and find some <laughs> okay. hand sanitizer.